92,000. 92,000, down to 19,500. To 19,000, so 73,000 workers cut from the railroad industry. Um, and as Sharif says, we expect even more. The board plan is critical. What I like to do is have every block of the conversation have its own space on the board and have a plan so that nothing has to be erased, so that you can refer back to old parts of the conversation late and later in the class and in the wrap-up. I try usually to write every student's comment on the board, at least some version of it or some portion of it. In particular, I don't want people to get the impression that I only write the comments I agree with on the board, uh, because then the class becomes a game of trying to see who can get Tony to write something on the board rather than understanding the issues involved. So you say I'm using minus for hurt and plus for helped, right? In case of the, so you say intercity passengers were hurt because a lot of track was abandoned, a lot of services were abandoned. I think. Putting every comment, almost every comment, on the board, uh, it's a sign of respect um, and that the conversation is not one that I'm trying to micromanage. So this doesn't seem like a bad result from the... The board can be a fabulous visual aid to the conversation, helping students keep track of the comments and where the conversation's been and where it's going. You'll notice in this class that uh, one student says that labor won in the privatization of the railways, and so we put a plus next to labor. But 15 minutes later, students realized that that was wrong, and so we changed the plus to a minus. Your premise is that we were wrong to say this was a plus. You and Shuba... If, if, if you're reading from the worker, um, I, if I was the railroad worker, I don't see myself getting a, a job very quickly right now in the economy. I use pluses and minuses and compare the railroads and the highways uh, in this class, and I think it makes it much more effective for them to follow the conversation. I usually try and break up the board space that I have into the blocks of the conversation so that each blo block has its own place in the board. Now, you got to be careful about the counterfactual. That's really useful because then at the wrap-up, you can refer back to the conversations and remind people of what they said because it's on the board. And if you're trying to compare apples and oranges, or block A and block B, then you've got a visual record of what the students said. But notice this pattern as opposed to this. Right? Here it's win-win. Here it's win-lose. Here it's... These are the two typical patterns of the privatization of an existing state-owned enterprise, you know, an existing railway, an existing water company, an existing electricity company, versus new infrastructure. 